Fellas, happy Memorial Day, all you who've served. It's the only reason I'm able to sit here and show videos like this for guys who've put their lives on the line. I had a customer try some of my skipjack jigs or skipjack rigs and sabiki rigs. Start with a number four hook. And what we'll do here is we can use our Congo hair, synthetic here. You can go deer hair, you can use feathers. It doesn't matter, just whatever tail. I wanted to give the customer a variety of colors that he could try for his skipjack jigs. Fishing for catfish, and I, this Congo hair I get from uh, Fly Tires Dungeon. All I tie are streamers, guys. I don't really tie really anything else. I mean, even my bug patterns are just streamers. <laughs> a streamer is a, this is a bodied streamer, but it's a, where the material just streams over the back of the hook. Lead core line. So what I do is take the sheath off, break the lead, and now we're left with a nice bit of lead here. And the sheathing there, I just sort of cut it off and just throw it away. Mount that sucker right there. That way you don't have to buy a tinsel. You already have the lead core. Just use your old lead core. And, oh, uh, you kidding me? Lead is very sort of malleable, easy to shape and easy to break. And we're just touching turns all the way back up. This adds a little bit of weight to it. The guy asked me, um, how much does this weigh? Man, I, I couldn't really tell you. It's it's a it's like a weighted woolly bugger. I mean, you you know, just buy a woolly bugger that's been weighted with a bead chain uh, or, or underbody of lead or something like that. It doesn't weigh much. And so we're just using yarn. It's just yarn that you get from, you know, you can get in the in the knitting section in Walmart. You know, that's about ten or twenty thousand flies right there. I'll just I'll probably die before I use all that. See, a lot of your skipjack jigs and things like that are, are made in a wholly different way. I mean, they're made more like lures, and, and I'm just using fly tying techniques. It's not as much a pain to make, and it's a lot, quite frank, a lot faster and a lot easier to make. And we just wrap this body material on here. One, two, I'm gonna snip this off as close as we can. See, that purple flash will go well with that pink. This was really just a simplified version of my uh, Bass Crack, the Modern Mickey Finn, or the Silver Bleeder. It's just a very, I, I was set out to make a simplified version of that fly because I got sick and tired of working with super glue all the time. I'm gonna start making designs that don't use super glue. And this is the first one I came up with and really was the predecessor to the Amp Fly and the Spider Fly, the Simpler Spider, all that all that generation of flies and see there we go let's see we can't clean up that head some once more I don't use head cement in my own personal flies that I fish with but when I send them out to customers I preferably would put it on there it'll make a little bit tougher fly there's a different version of it white and red with a red flash on it nearly any color combination you can think of if any of you are interested those are over on the website I'll put the link in Sabiki rigs and skipjack jigs. Just tell me your favorite colors. I can tie them up, ship them out to you. Nine dollars a dozen, two eighty-five for the shipping. We're serious about skipjack? Your catfishing. Thanks for watching. See you guys later.